This is what a scorched earth policy actually looks like. Barely recognizable for what it is. Donetsk International Airport. A symbol of the searing intensity of the war in Ukraine that's supposed to have stopped. A battle that pitches a Western-leaning government against a rebel army that turns to its Russian neighbor. So this is day two of a shaky ceasefire, and heavy weapons are supposed to be pulled back. But that isn't what's happening here. The rebel defense minister says he'll only pull his forces back when he has proof that the Ukrainians on this front line have withdrawn theirs. But the issue that threatens this peace deal isn't that the guns haven't pulled back here, it's that they're still firing. This is supposed to be day two of the ceasefire in eastern Ukraine, and as we've been hearing... Yet again, the peace has not settled in. We've been hearing the consistent sound of artillery being fired. There's another one. Most of it appears to be outgoing. But what the people of the Donetsk People's Republic are saying is that they're suppressing fire. Stay, stay together. Run, run, run! The Ukrainians insist they haven't broken the truce, accusing the rebels of shelling their own territory. But that's, that's firing out. No, it's in and out. The defense minister says he's trying to stop the enemy from firing at their positions. The last effort to stop this war failed. Today's peace deal has held in most places, but there's a clear risk that what we're watching is history repeating itself. Ian Panel, BBC News, at Donetsk International Airport.